So in the last lecture, uh, we were discussing the electron gun. And uh, electron gun is the source of electrons. And I told you briefly that how the electrons are produced, what sort of materials are used for uh, to be used as electron gun. Then we discussed the field emission and thermoionic emission of electrons which are used in the electron microscope. And up to now and today as well, we are talking about transmission electron microscope. The scanning electron microscope is something different, right? So we will go towards that, but we are now discussing the transmission electron microscope. Uh, in the field emission gun, I told you that in the case of thermoionic emission, you are heating the element type thing and that emit electrons due to heat of heating of the filament and those electrons are emitted in a scattered way and then you use the electromagnetic field to bring them together to form them into a beam and then focus them onto the sample through various electromagnetic fields and those fields are provided by the electromagnetic coils set around throughout the column of the microscope. Because electron is a charged particle, an electric field can be used to divert or straighten or change the way of these electrons. Since in the thermoionic emission, the electrons are violently emitted by the filament, it is relatively difficult to form a very nano, nano size beam from those electrons because their original kinetic energy is there and you will have to control all those things in order to gather them into a beam. But in the field emission gun, you pluck out, you pull out electrons into a specific area by the virtue of the electric field, right? So when you, you pull them, I pick this spoon and put it here, and this table emit these spoons. So the emission and pulling out, there is clear difference between the two. Emission and pulling out by your choice. That is why the field emission, it is easy to organize into the shape of a beam, the field emitted electrons. This is done, it is very expensive in comparison to the thermoionic emission gun, right? It is very expensive, but the most sophisticated machines are using field emission guns because field emission guns give you edge over the thermoionic emission in the form of the resolving power of the microscope, in the form of the very high magnification images, because the more organized the beam is, the easier it will be to interpret the images, to make the images, to get the diffraction patterns and things like that with the thermoionic emission. When we pass through that step, 